All right, so the last part of our DAO to put it all back together is the update. Same process here. It's a little bit of some choice inside of here, but I can copy this line. I can go to my product DAO. I can paste it inside of here. I still need a statement off of here. So I got to create that over here. And uh, you might want to use your SQL strategy here as well. Um, if you want to, and we can delete this out. And we're going to start from, from scratch on that. So I'm going to take this guy and move it up here. Now the question is, what do you want to update? I know I need to set the price. I need to set the price where ID is equal to, we've already seen this, ID.getPrice. Not, not ID, excuse me. Not ID, gosh, what am I doing? P.getID. Too much coding today. So that's that's the simple part. And then, again, I want to trade this out to be SQL. And I don't want the count anymore. Yeah, clean all that up. All right, so I've broken my rule a little bit here. I started editing before I've tested it. That's a rule for the newest people. Once you're experienced, you can start getting into that a little bit. But let me stop right there and test that because I've already done this before. I feel a little bit confident there. Let's go back to my demo and get rid of the update stuff. I get rid of the count altogether now because I don't need the count at all anymore. And I can say dao.update test me. This will be my full test in place. Uh, I'm going to keep my clean and build just to make that happen. You shouldn't have to do that every time. For some reason, my project screwed up. Uh, but then you can see update product set price 199, where ID is equal to 66. All right. So now what I need to choose is what all things do I want to update. So if I want to set the price, then I need to be able to put that inside of there. The process is exactly the same. Put a quote inside of there, plus p.get retail price plus and another quote get rid of the 199 okay I can run it uh, sorry I have to do clean and build because I don't know if mine's working run it and everything's still working fine the price was set to 1222 because I didn't change the price if I want to do an interesting test what I can do is test me dot set price the set retail price is equal to 2.22, no, 2.33, that's I've, I've too many twos in there. So, uh, stupid, not automatically building. Um, all right, so, see set price to 2.33, and then you can see the price is being set up. Past that, it's whatever else you want to update inside of here. If you want to allow them to change the name, you say set price, you say set price and set name. You say set price, set name, description. Um, that syntax, again, is just something you have to work out. Do you remember the syntax for that? Many of you probably do off the top of your head. Some of you might not. How do I figure out the, the syntax for that? Well, there's a couple options. If I feel comfortable with it, I can play with it here. If I don't feel comfortable with it, then what I want to do is go back to my SQL browser. So I want to do select star from product. Okay, so we can say uh, update um, product. Set uh, price is equal to 100. I think it's a comma. I don't know. Let's take a guess. Comma name is equal to, uh, oop, I got to put a quote in there. Laser sword where ID is equal to 1. Hey, it worked. Let's check it out again. I happened to get it right the first time. Hey, excellent guess right there. If I did it wrong, what would I do? I would basically tweak it and play with it, tweak it, play with it. I'd look up somebody, I'd ask somebody, I'd email the instructor, I'd do whatever I need to do to get this working. Don't get stuck in the Java with SQL problems. Don't get stuck with SQL with Java problems. Try and separate them out. So now that I know what it's supposed to look like, I can kind of insert that here a little bit. So... I can copy and paste it and start over, or I can try and fit it in. It depends what you're comfortable with. Um, so what I want to do is, let's break this up. So I have the plus inside of there. Let me put another one here. So after that, I had to do what? I would have a comma after that, right? Set price is equal to 100. I have a comma, and then a space. And then name is equal to an opening quote. And then I put in the p.getName. All right? 
plus, and I need a closing quote. And I probably need another space inside of there, but I have a space down here, so it should be fine. And I need to put, put another plus in there to make it, make it compile. So I can try this to see if it works. All right. It seems to have worked. The way I'd really test this out is let's go through and say test me dot set name is equal to burger. All right. So update product set name is equal to burger, and it did it. It did what I wanted to do. So at this point, I'm not building SQL logic. I'm not building Java JDBC logic. I'm building Java string manipulation logic to create the SQL that I need to have it be spit out. Last bit of this, just to have it be totally complete, uh, I can say comma description is equal to a quote plus p dot get description plus a quote and then another plus. This theoretically should work. Let's go to my test case and say test me dot set description and it is greasy. All right. So again, you shouldn't have to do this to clean and build, but for some reason my project screwed up and I have to. But there you go. So the description is greasy and it indeed updates it to greasy. So there is a data access object. Honestly, at this point, you should have the skills in your toolbox to go back and have a GUI created and plug it into this data access object. We actually should have some of those pieces in our toolbox from the previous class. We've actually built something much like this in the previous class. The assignment has you put it all together with that into a big piece. You'll get there. My suggestion is build exactly this. Build this DAO on its own, build this demo over the top of it, and then worry about the, the GUI. If you have the most beautiful GUI ever and no JDBC code behind it, you'll score very low. If you have all of this working perfectly and no GUI, you'll get most of the credit. I'm not going to say how much because I want you to build a GUI, but you, you'll definitely be passing this assignment fairly well. All right, so go off and build this. And then... Worry about the GUI. Finish up the assignment. Go from there. Because at that point, you're just dealing with plugging in data to an object, which you should know how to do, and then calling the DAO.